Boykin, how's everybody doing? I'm glad you guys have been tuning into these videos. We've reached out to some of you and we've uh, gotten some good feedback. Uh, keep that coming, let us know what you think, let us know if you have any advice, anything we should change, anything you want us to do. We welcome all of your feedback and we wanna hear from you guys. So if nobody's reached out to you and maybe you're wondering why, um, we've had trouble getting some all of your contact information together. So if you want to, um, you can email us at awaken at westridge.cc and we'll get that information and just email us with a phone number or an email address or some way we can get a hold of you and we'll make sure somebody reaches out and sees how you're doing. Uh, we've just had a little bit of technical difficulties getting everybody's contact information together. So um, bear with us. This is kind of um, a hard time that we've, we've been going through. This was not expected. And, but we do, we do miss you and want to see how you guys are doing and see how everything's going. So with that said, let's, um, you can always find us on Facebook at the um, Awaken Facebook page, the Awaken Instagram page, and our YouTube channel, Awaken Youth Center, where we're putting videos up every weekday. Um, we really just wanna reach out to you guys and keep you fed and make sure you're doing good. But we do wanna hear from you. So if, we, if you haven't talked to one of us lately, please shoot us an email or, either, or, or a direct message on Facebook or Instagram get a hold of one of us because we miss you guys and we, we do want to talk to you. So um, with no further ado, we're going to get into our next lesson of Storyteller. And today's is a, a different parable. It's called the Parable of the Great Banquet. And this isn't as uh, well known as a par of a parable as the um, parable of the prodigal son, but this is a very good parable. It has a very, very good message behind it. So. We're gonna get into it, but first I wanna read through it. So we're gonna read through it. It's verses, we'll say 12 to 21 is where we're gonna stay. And, um, and then we'll recap afterwards, all right? So bear with me while I read this, get my Bible out. He said also to the man who had invited him, when you give a dinner or a banquet, do you not invite, sorry about that. Do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or neighbors, lest they also invite you in return and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. When one of those who reclined at table with him heard these things he said to him blessed is everyone who will eat bread in the kingdom but he said to him one a man once gave a great banquet and invited many and at the time for the banquet he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited come for everything is now ready but they all alike began to make excuses the first said to him i have bought a a field, I must go out and see it. Please have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to examine them. Please have me excused. And another said, I'm, I am married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house became angry and said to his servant, go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city to bring in the poor, the crippled, and the blind and the lame. And the servant said, Sir, what you commanded has been done, and still there is room. And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and the hedges, and compel people to come in, that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited shall taste my banquet. So that's a lot, and that was actually I, uh, that was actually through verse 24, so it's 12 to 24, I misspoke. But, so what is this? This is Jesus saying, like, invite the lame, the poor, the, the downtrodden, the least of these to your banquet. Have them in your house, not just your friends, your relatives, but have the least of these. And um, sometimes, you know, we're out and, and we may feel neglected, or maybe, maybe sometimes you, you, your friends uh, all do something and you weren't invited or or maybe you've been the person that, that did something with a group of friends and didn't invite someone else. And so we've all had times where we felt neglected or forgot to include someone. 
and that, that can be hard. That can be tough, you know. I know a lot of us probably right now feel like we're, we're missing out, you know, that, that fear of uh, FOMO, the fear of missing out, you know. We probably all have a lot of that because there's just really not much going on. There's not much we can do. So what God is saying here is that, you know, he wants to invite everybody into his kingdom, everybody that you can find. Just invite them in, you know. They're, back in those days, the, the, um, the Pharisees and the Sadducees were like the people. They were the in crowd. They were the ones everybody looked up to and admired, and they had all the nice things, and they said all the right things, and they were supposed to be like the elite. And, you know, they would be the people who were invited to this party but made excuses. You know, like, oh, I can't come. I got, this is more important. Like, Jesus is inviting them to this party, but they're making excuses saying, I have something else to tend to. And what he's trying to say is that if he invites them and they don't have time to come or they can't um, make time to be there, then he's going to invite somebody else. Everybody is invited. But those who will lay down what they're doing and come in to, to join Jesus in this feast and in this banquet and this party those are the ones that that are going to, are going to taste his banquet and or be able to um, partake in this spread of food that he has laid out and that is for everyone that's what Jesus is saying invite everyone don't look down on somebody because they're not as cool as you or, or they don't have as many friends as you we need to invite everyone this is this goes for awaken you know we're not just trying to invite all the cool kids, all the fun kids, all your best friends. That's nice, but we also want to invite the kid who doesn't have as many friends, the new kid, you know, the, the girl who's struggling to fit in, you know, the, the boy who isn't as athletic or, you know, is, is, is an outcast. You know, we want everybody, because everybody is special. We want you, you personally, you are special. You are wanted, you are invited to this banquet, which is why I want to stress again, if you haven't heard from one of us, please get a hold of us. Let us know. We are digging through as much information as we have and, and going through um, all the church's information and trying to get all the right um, numbers and email addresses to get a hold of you, your parents, somebody to reach out and just see how you're doing. Um, but you make it a lot easier on us too if, if you can just include, you know, send us an email at awaken at westridge.cc so awaken at westridge.cc um, hit us up there and just let us know a way we can get a hold of you and I will personally make sure that somebody is, is giving you a call to check up on you your small group leader will know about it and we'll reach out and see how you're doing we want to hear from you and we miss you guys so much And so this week we're going to do a little bit different every, every leader that does a video is going to talk a little about their favorite parable, a parable that means something special to them. So we're going to go through a bunch of parables. We're going to have some, an awesome time just talking about, you know, different stories in the Bible and what they've meant to us as we've grown and as, as we've matured and things. And, and I, hope, I hope this all feeds you guys. I hope that you enjoy these videos. I hope that we can keep them going even after we're back here at Awaken, that we can keep this going and that we can get you guys involved making YouTube videos, let's make some fun videos, some informational videos, some worship videos. And we wanna put this stuff out on YouTube and continue to, uh, I hope that we can continue to use that as an asset to reach people, to let those people in the highways and the hedges know about our banquet and the banquet here at Awaken Youth Center um, on West Allegheny Road. Yeah, but I miss you guys so much. I'm sweating as you can see, I'm here at the Awaken Youth Center now. And I decided I was going to shoot a few basketballs. In case you guys didn't know, the basketball hoop is up. It's a good time. And so I was shooting a few basketballs before I recorded this. So hopefully you guys can be here soon and we can all have some fun with the basketball hoop. But I want you guys to go again. We love you. We miss you. And just, just keep checking in with us. Hit us up at the email address. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Love you.